Hey YouTube, Slimelight98 here. I find it to be quite the anomaly that I'm the first person to elaborate on the commentary walk-off on ECW. Uh, Mike Adamley just took off his headset and left. Taz followed him. The main event had no one calling it. Um, anyways, I find this kind of confusing. I'm not sure if this is an angle. It's just planned storyline, trying to get him some attention, get some, like, new... Uh, you know, try to get, like, people watching ECW again. Um, then again, I find it logical that this could actually be a legitimate occurrence because Adam Lee has been ridiculed by fans, wrestlers, and fellow commentators alike. Even WWE acknowledged that he has lackluster commentary and that the fans were pissed about it. Um, anyways, it's weird, no one else has made a video about it, so I'm just here kind of bringing this concept, uh, to your attention. Anyways, uh, um, I'm just kind of confused about this, uh, Mike Adamley is empirically the worst commentator in the history of mankind, um, but he has improved a little bit, I mean, he's not botching as much as he was at first. And I think in a month or so, if he is actually still going to be commenting, commentating, I'm sorry, he could actually be a decent commentator because um, while he's not perfect and he still does botch sometimes, his chemistry with Taz was improving a little bit. And we had come quite a ways from lines like, uh, well, you know, Jamaican me crazy, Uno dos adios, and all the botch-tastic bullshit from week one. Um, Anyways, next topic I want to cover really is completely unconnected with the Adamly walk-off in the exception, with the exception of the fact that he is Adamly's equal and empirically being the worst at his position. Of course, I'm talking about the great Kali. Um, the reason I think WWE unfortunately inflicts him upon us by bringing him to us on TV is I think they're trying to apply to the Indian demographic. Anyways, I don't know if it's really worth it because they seem to be alienating the rest of the fan base, and it's just kind of stupid. If you want an example of this, think, uh, think back to Backlash. It wasn't just a smart fan booing Polly. It was the entire freaking WWE fan base. So that doesn't happen for no reason. And I don't know if they're just playing dumb or if they're actually oblivious to the, the fact that you can only do four freaking moves. Anyways, uh, these are just a few concepts that seem relatively untouched and, you know, other people making videos, so I'm just here to bring them to you guys' attention, try to get the ideas out there. Um, anyways, thank you for watching, Slingblade98 out.